<laughs> Hola. Hola, buen dia. And welcome to our continuing adventure of what it's like to live here in Portugal. And thank you for tuning in. If you're a first time viewer, please share, like, subscribe for sure. If uh, you're one of our regular followers, thank you very much for your support and encouragement and all your comments. They're greatly appreciated. I'm Kathleen, and oh, this... I'm Ross. <laughs> and we just... What did we just finish completing? Oh, my gosh. We participated in our second Sao Joao celebration. It was amazing. And, and as we titled, are these magic wands? And we're going to talk about that because we had a very significant... I say personal discovery and revelation uh, from this Sao Joao about how it adds to the quality of life for us here in Portugal. True. So Sao Joao is June 23rd and 24th, and it happens every year. It is the largest festival in Porto. It is like nothing I've ever seen before or participated in in my lifetime in the United States. Nothing. Um, it is an ancient, a mix of ancient mm -hmm. pagan tradition and then becoming, adding layers of Christianity to it. Uh, all kinds of significant things. Sao Joao means St. John, referring to St. John the Baptist. Uh, but originally there were pagan customs and things about about druids and trees and and using um, garlic flowers mm, right. to to I guess cast evil spirits out, but hitting people on the heads gently with a garlic flower or a leek flower, and um, yeah. it's kind of a courting ritual it, too. Yeah, it's, yeah, you know, we heard that remember also. Remember cavemen with the <laughs> with the clubs, <laughs> right? <laughs> the the, the uh, garlic flower is a way to like. Yeah. Say, hey, I'm kind of uh, interested in you as well. <laughs> <laughs> when the festival begins, and it's usually later in the afternoon on the 23rd of June, uh, you will see grills being set up all over the city. Mm -hmm. And they start grilling sardines. They set out beer stands. This is like every street, every street. <laughs> it's not just where we live. Record. And it's not just down by the riverfront. It's everywhere. They decorate with little flags, little festive, like party flags, maybe similar to uh, what they do in New Orleans for Mardi Gras. Mm, but this yeah. is like way over the top from that. Um, they, they start in and they start cranking music in the evening. Once things get dark, wow. And you start hearing this noise. And they are not crickets. They are these magic wands <laughs> that I think take the place of the old tradition of the garlic flower. But this is very cool, and that's why we call them magic wands. Because little kids, old people, everybody in between that wants to participate in this festival carries one around. And everybody's fair game, and that's what's so cool about it, <laughs> is that uh, nobody gets upset if all of a sudden you as a stranger come up and bop them on the head uh, and they turn around and do the same thing if they have a hammer. And, and as the evening goes on and there's a little more consumption of wine and beer, <laughs> yeah. uh, inhibitions start to disappear oh, as far as, and people are, are just totally friendly about and, it. And dancing and, and singing. singing. And there's then, There are Portuguese yeah. songs that you can hear they're singing about Sao Joao. Yeah. Uh, we don't know those songs, but the locals do, and they sing them, they crank up the music. Every street seems to have uh, either live mm -hmm. music and they have live concerts all around, yes. or they have like a disc jockey playing that stuff. And people are doing conga dances and they're doing <laughs> all the crazy stuff. And you can see little kids with their hammers. So what I did, I would bend over <laughs> and, and a little one would go like this and they get so excited. <laughs> Yeah, and so sometimes fun. they try to be very stealth about it. They'll run up behind you and get you, and then they'll take off. Like, this is you know, so like, cute. It's a big surprise. <laughs> but the, the, the hammers, we're not sure. Uh, the significance is a show of, of friendship. It may be part of getting rid of evil spirits. Uh, <laughs> um, and, then, and then people, you'll watch uh, people 
individuals or large groups launch sky lanterns, these paper lanterns that are fueled by a by flame that you know heat up and then launch. Our a wonderful restaurant across the street. We watched the whole team come out after they completed service for the night to launch their lantern um, together. And it looked like to me is that they were just doing that out of an appreciation for the success for this year and for what's to come in the future. And, and each other. Yes, and each it's other. It's small teams and then everybody's one larger team. The neighborhood here was one large team, but as a whole, it's Porto. It's the city. It feels that it feels really yeah. new and really fun. And then at midnight, there's the huge fireworks display. We had fireworks here in the neighborhood. We watched them right off our balcony. But at midnight down on the riverfront, there is a tremendous display of fireworks. And that's supposed to be significant of honoring the sun and going back to one of the pagan uh, traditions of the summer solstice. Uh, so that's one of the significant, and the fireworks are, are amazing and people gather and just, just, and just, they're just having so much fun. And I think that, that gets us to what it was that we discovered this year for ourselves about the whole We've been talking about it and talking about it. And of course, yeah. there's so many differences between this festival and the like the July 4th riverfront down in St. Louis by the uh, by the Gateway Arch. You know, all, all, there's great festivals in the mm, United States. Definitely. But why is this so different? Why does this feel? And because it's our new home mm. or, and we know what it is, we've tried to identify. It's the people that come together all ages and it's like the whole city the city, people who are, don't ever know each other, reach out and this, this is the magic wand. They reach out and then people laugh and they go, they go crazy. They just go crazy. It's like for, for one holiday, us, there's no stranger. And, and, he, and beyond that too, I mean, this is, that's like the icebreaker. <laughs> um, and, it, and it does, and some of the pictures or videos you'll see uh, that we're gonna post you'll hear these in the background. Sometimes it's just nonstop. Chirp, chirp. But as we were watching all this, and we had friends here, new friends here um, uh, that were celebrating their first Sao Joao, and they were sending us pictures, and they were letting, you know, <laughs> as we were watching these, the thing that we noticed was that the people are crowded. Sometimes they're like shoulder to shoulder. People are dancing. Other people are trying to move through the crowd. Sometimes oh. uncomfortably close. When you're yeah. watching the fireworks, people are really cozied up. We were cozy up last year with people. It's that's different. And the thing that that we took in from that was that um, there are no fights. Mm -hmm. There, I mean, uh, sure, maybe there's some disagreements. There's no drunkenness. People falling down drunk. People, yes, they probably a little bit happier than they were at the beginning <laughs> of the night. But everybody is like one big family, and they are here to celebrate with one another. And one thing is definitely absent. There were no gunshots. I, I looked at the news the next day. There were no police reports. No incidents. Of no incidents. But, this is a big city but here. People feel totally uh -huh. safe to be out for a celebration where there's thousands upon thousands of people packed together, having a good time. And I think that's the, the significance is that they are celebrating yeah. Yeah. together. Yeah. They're so happy. And, and and again, well, I know this is, we've repeated ourselves, but I just want to tell you this, the way it feels to come out in a crowd when, it, when it's really crowded without feeling uncomfortable. It feels new. It feels different because I can tell you that I would not feel comfortable going to a crowd this huge anywhere in the United States. Not now. I mean, I would be thinking, mm, yeah, you're kind of inviting crazy people. You never know. And I don't want to go into that, but I'm not comfortable. And I was comfortable here. And I mean, you're watching kids run all, people turn their kids loose. Not everybody, but you know, like, like, you know, but they're in close seven, proximity. Yeah. seven, but, year, seven eight, nine, 10 yeah. year olds are running around their parents and going crazy. And, and there's still a lot of people. It's like people feel okay with it, with this. And this is like wow. at two o'clock in the morning too. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> yes. it's like I said, it is an all night affair. I, we, we didn't make it all night, but uh, we can we definitely tried. tell that the party was still going on. <laughs> so 
in, you know, that one of the things when we talk about quality of life here, and one of the reasons why we decided on uh, Portugal and, and Porto was that Portugal is in the top, I think it's seven of safest uh, countries in the world. And we experienced that over and over and over. And a celebration like this, a Sao Joao, just reaffirms that, um, that feeling and that, uh, those statistics that it is very safe. And we feel totally comfortable, not threatened at all, mm -hmm. that if something happened to us, if one of us fell down or whatever and needed help, somebody would help us would. right away, they would. no matter it, what. It feels that way. There's a sense of community that is absent That's in right. so many other things that I've ever been to. Um, you know, in other festivals, maybe you can identify with this. You go as a group or you go as a couple or you go with a couple of friends or whatever, or a big gang, a big family and friends and stuff, but you pretty much stay with your gang. And here it's like people are connecting with total, or who would be ordinary, uh, ordinarily a stranger. It's like it it totally melts these things. <laughs> it totally melts away this wall and it brings people for this short span of time into appreciating each other, the culture, the city, the country. And it's and it's the coolest. It is just so cool. It is. I loved it. I love it. So on your bucket list. <laughs> Sao Joao. If, if you're not planning on moving here to <laughs> Portugal, to Porto, definitely get here for a visit. Plan ahead because all accommodations are pretty well taken yeah, up. And, June and it's 23rd. a little pricier, but it's worth it. Put it on your calendar <laughs> and get here and experience yeah. the, the community, the celebration of Sao Joao and, and this. purchase Oh, yeah. Your magic oh, wand. Magic wands are available everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. And then people go around. Like they're selling beer on stands. They sell bags of these all over. And you can buy the lanterns, too. And, and just be ready. When you come, be ready to not sleep for a while. And be, re <laughs> <laughs> and be re hydrate yourself fully. Eat. Be ready. Try, try the sardines when you come. This is a new thing. It's pretty cool. People are into it. And really, uh, you won't be sad. You'll, you go, wow, my life is enriched out of this puppy. <laughs> so as a special little extra piece, we've thrown in a couple of pictures here while we've been speaking. But uh, don't turn it off yet because at the end, I've put a collage <laughs> of um, photos and uh, videos that I think will give you a good sense of Sao Joao. Yeah, we're glad to share them for, with you because they're fun. It brings up so much fun for us. And always check the description below because there's links to information uh, about uh, experiencing Porto and also about how to uh, begin your, uh, your adventure of possibly moving to Portugal. So thank you again for tuning in. Uh, we greatly appreciate your support. We do. And as we always end with... What adventure are, are you, you on, on today? today? <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. 